Hey guys, um, or should I say Fifty Shades of Grey fans on YouTube, um, many of you like Fifty Shades of Grey, and many of you have don't. That's totally fine with me. Um, I will be talking about my review on Fifty Shades of Grey and whether I like it or not. And I would not say that I don't like it, because I do. Um, I'm, I myself am a Fifty Shades of Grey fan, although I'm not in that lifestyle. I am a Fifty Shades of Grey fan. I read all three books, and I plan to watch, to both see all three movies. I got one down. I need to see two more. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so, I seen Fifty Shades of Grey last night, uh, Thursday night at 8. And it it was it was more I would say it was more intense. Um, let's just say okay, Fifty Shades of Grey, directed by Sam Taylor Johnson, I believe, and wrote and and was written by E. L. James, um, Erica, you know, E. L. James, Erica, whatever. Anyway. So she basically got her idea off of Twilight, which basically Christian is Edward and Bella Anastasia's like Bella and her f and Anastasia Steele's friend Jose is like Taylor. Jose likes Anastasia, Jamie likes oh, Christian likes Anastasia. That's where the idea of Twilight comes in. I still don't like that idea. Um, but if, I don't like the idea of having her have Twilight as an idea, inspiration. If she had it, if she had Fifty Shades of Grey without the inspiration of Twilight, I'll be fine. Um, but having the idea of, I like Twilight myself. I read all books, I read all the books, I've seen all the movies, um, I even have a Twilight lunchbox, Twilight playing cards, you name it. I, I'm a Twilight fan, I'm a Twilight hard. Um, now I'm a, I'm a shade, I'm a shady, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey fan, which I call them shady, but, um, whatever you guys want to call them, I'm good. Um, anyway, um, I, when Anastasia Steele, saw the Red in the Pain of D said Christian Grey, I immediately said, Oh my god. Like I said, Oh my god, this would be so fun to play in. I would love to play in this room. Like, yeah. Anyway, so um I would love to go play in that room as I was her and she she was liking the idea too. Um the only thing I did not like um, was, is how people are portraying that this movie approaches abuse. It does not approach abuse at all. Um, she wants these things. BDSM is not abuse. BDSM is a lifestyle. Um, it's not abuse. You don't get bruises from them. You don't, if you don't like it, get out of BDSM and do something else with your life. That's what my thing is. Or don't do it at all. Um, but BDSM is not, it's a lifestyle choice. Um, I mean, yeah, handcuffs, handcuffs are, can hurt you. Um, floggers can hurt you if you hit them, the, if you hit them hard enough. I so I can understand I can see I can understand why people are saying, "Hey, it's abusive," when when it's not, um, because these things like floggers, um, like floggers, handcuffs, um, whips, they can all be ab they can all be abusive. They can all lead to some form of abuse. Um, see, I'm going in to be a child advocate, but I also have, I've, I took psychology 
and criminal justice. And I have to acknowledge mindset of what is exactly abuse and how to portray how, how like I'm trying to get word out there saying if something is abusive don't do it and if you're in an abusive relationship get out quickly because it's not it's going downhill from that if you don't get out but other from that Fifty Shades of Grey is not by all means by not by <coughs> whatever can't talk tonight by all means Fifty Shades of Grey is not abuse it does not portray abuse in any way yeah Anastasia Steele gets a contract she don't sign it he fucks her hard that's not abuse fucking people hard is not abuse that's I would not know but I would say while reading the book yeah reading the book had a lot of details in it it brought out more details it brought out how you're in her shoes it's like hey you're anesthesia steel you're in her shoes you're thinking what she's thinking you're feeling what she's feeling which that's true when you read all three books you feel you're in her shoes it's herself yourself and you feel what she feels you think what she thinks and what's going on around her now when you see the movie when you see the movie it's like it doesn't have much details in it but you can see the chemistry between Jamie Dornan and Nicole Johnson um yes he's Irish so what he's not weak and a lot of people have been saying they're both weak yeah at first, we did not. At first, we Fifty Shades of Grey fans did not see Jamie Dornan or Dakota Johnson as Christian Grey and in Anastasia Steele. We saw, we saw Matt Bomer. I at least I saw Matt Bomer in Alexander and Alexis Bradell from Charmed. No, or Charmed or, or Gilmer Girls. Um, but. Who cares now? They cast it. The cast. And I can say Jamie Dornan played a really good Christian Grey. And Dakota Johnson played a really innocent Anastasia Steele. I'm a lot like Anastasia Steele. I would say I relate to Anastasia Steele. Not in the BDSM form or whatever. But I'm the... I portray like I'm the innocent little angel that never gets in trouble. Um, I'm like I have her personality. Like she's bubbly. She's she she's all innocent. She 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 acts innocent. She is kind-hearted, which I'm kind-hearted. She, but sh overall, she portrays her character. Uh, Dakota Johnson portrays her character really well, and she took her character really in, de in, in depth. So is Jane Dornan in Kristen Grey. Um, before they go into playing these characters, they have the mindset of what they're getting into, and they're not portraying abuse in any way at all. BDSM is not abuse. You guys can Google it if you guys are still wondering, oh, BDSM is abuse. No, it's not. So, if you guys think I'm wrong, you guys can Google it for all, for all I care. You guys can Google it. I'm saying we all have opinions, not that I don't care about them. I mean, I care about other people's opinions, but... And I like to back up those opinions and give my own opinion on them and call them out on it. Because Fifty Shades of Grey, I care about Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, I'm going to see a second one. Um, so I'm going to share with you what I have seen on YouTube and Facebook. Well, not Facebook, but YouTube and 
what I seen on imdb.com, that movie site, and show you what exactly people have been saying about these movies. Number one, I saw on YouTube just today, I saw this movie review about Fifty Shades of Grey by this YouTuber named Chris Stuckman. And Chris Stuckman basically gave a bad review and gave Chris gave Fifty Shades of Grey gave Fifty Shades of Grey an F. It's his opinion. But I I disagree with it. But it's just his opinion, you know. Um, he also said Dakota Johnson and and Jamie Dornan is our weak characters, our our weak people, our weak female and male. Um, you would you know that? Do you know them in personal? Do you know them personally? Have you gone up to them and say, Hey, Jamie, I think you're weak. Or Dakota, I think you're weak. Have you seen them in other movies? If if you haven't, I would go double check. Because I've seen movies, I've seen their other movies, I've seen the Dakota Johnson performing in other movies. I see Jamie Dornan uh, playing in other movies. They're really dang good at what they do. Actors, actresses, and actors aren't there. Aren't aren't in the TV entertainment industry just because they want money. They do it because they love it. They do it because they have good performance. They don't suck at it. And this guy thinks Chris Stuckman, again, it's his opinion saying that Dakota Johnson is a weak female portraying a such an innocent Dakota Johnson. Yes, she's a little bit older than a character that I imagine in the book. In the book, she's a lot younger than Nicola Johnson. I agree. Kristen Gray is kind of a little bit younger than Jamie Dornan. Not by much, but I also agree. We all have our opinions, so if we don't, and but I am not going to fight on that. Well, I'm going to try not to fight on that because this is one of my favorite movies. But I'm also going to show you what else. Okay. This is what I, I, there's an article 15 hours ago. 15 hours ago. This article on IMD, IMDB states, Universal's Fifty Shades of Grey has launched with a sizzling $8.6 million dollars at 2,830 North, North American locations Thursday night showings that started at 8 p.m., which I went to. The tale of romance mixed with BDSM set several records, becoming Universal's highest grossing, highest grossing, let me say it again, highest grossing late night show ever, eclips, eclipsing the 6.5 million set by Fast and Furious 6. So they outsmarted Fast and Furious 6 by their genre. Anyway, it, it's also the second highest grossing R-rated late night opening be behind the high Hangover 2 at 10.4 million and the highest late night, sh late night showing for a film in February. Jamie Dornan and Dakota, which expands to 3,000 646 theaters in North America over the President's Day weekend, which includes Valentine's Day. Universal has forecasted that Fifty Shades will wind up with a four-day launch topping $50 million over $50 million over the four days, but that's at the low e end of expectations, with other analysts and rivals predicting a de debut in 70 million or 80 million range. So that's pretty impressive. Um, when I bought my tickets on Fandango.com's website, I bought three tickets myself. And then my friends bought tickets. Half of my, almost half of my friends bought tickets. Um, a lot of females bought this 
bought these tickets, but some males bought these tickets too. Even my boyfriend went, and my boyfriend now likes it. He don't like the... He never read the books, but he's seen the movie and he likes it. So, if you haven't seen the movie, if you haven't read the book, don't don't say you don't like the, mo the, the movie. You, if you don't like the idea of this movie and stuff, just give it a try. If you don't give it a try, you'll regret it. But I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying if you outside, I'm just saying just give it, a, just give it, you can just read one, you can even read one page and if you don't like it, just put it down and or throw it, or throw it away. I'm not, or give it away to someone who really wants it. Anyway, um, I already have the first book. Um, anyway, so, going down to the comments, one wrote, this person wrote from, I believe, Facebook, either Facebook or, either Facebook or, or I need the, the DB's website. Sabrina Ackles Pata Lecky Scar Scar Walker Winchester Dever I'm not gonna say him. Anyway she wrote just finished watching Fifty Shades of Grey and I gotta say the film was beautiful. Yes, I am using the word beautiful to describe the movie this movie. I went to the theater completely prepared to be embarrassed because of how graphic it was supposed to be. But I was extremely surprised by how I actually felt. I watched all the scenes that were made available and thought that it all seemed a bit awkward, but it was only because there was no background music or noise. Watching the actual scenes in the movie was a whole other experience. The movie is getting a really bad rep because of the bad writing and graphic scenes that are in the book that is based on. However, the movie is just not a sex movie. It's not just a sex movie. It's it's hilarious and romantic. It's like a romantic comedy. My boyfriend was laughing the whole time. Not the whole time, but he was laughing. Like everyone says, it's pretty hilarious and romantic. Like I said, the sex scenes were extremely dialed down, and they all served a purpose. If you thought the pointless sex in the Wolf of Wall Street was acceptable, then you would be more than okay with the content of Fifty Shades. Before I watched Fifty Shades of Grey, I watched a lot of the interviews with the cast and film, and was, was confused as to how they could possibly describe the sex scenes as being classy and elegant. But then again, all I had to compare it to were scenes from The Game of, Th Game of Thrones, True Blood, and The Wolf of Wall Street, ex etc. After watching this film, I can only say that I completely agree with the cast. There was nothing dirty or wrong about what I was seeing on the screen. Sam Taylor Johnson, the director, did an excellent job with the movie. She made it very tasteful for and easier to accept. This film could have gone in a very bad direction, but thank God it didn't. For those of you that think that this movie is glorifying abusing relationships, think again because I think that it actually empowers women. I'm sure that you can argue with quotes in the movie and that I'm, I'm wrong, but there are many differences between the films and the book. Let me remind all of you that the book is like over 500 pages and the movie is about two hours long. Obviously, they had to cut a lot, a lot of things out, including the bl blue string scene that I've seen that I'm sure a lot of people are aware of. In my opinion, they cut out many of scenes that were considered controversial. I watched the movie looking for signs of an abusive relationship, but I didn't see anything that of that nature. In fact, all I saw was that this confident and empowered woman that made all of her own decisions. She was not forced to do anything that she didn't want to do. She wanted to explore Christian's dark world in her own sexuality. You can argue that Christian abuses her physically and emotionally, but he does not. But sh he does what she tells him to do. When she tell when she says stop, he stops. When she says that she wants more, he tries to give her more. 
Moving on to something lighter. The comedy in this movie was on point. There were laugh out loud moments that gave the, mo the movie a little a lighter mood. Those scenes were there to show that Christian and Anna's relationship was not all dark and serious. I mean that they are both young people in their 20s that should be having fun. Dakota Johnson gave a phenomenal performance and did everything right. She was competent, awkward, shy, and funny at all at the same time. Jamie Jordan also did an amazing job at Christian Grey. They had great chemistry. I guess that what I'm trying to say is that you should give the movie a chance. If you hate the movie, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will hate the movie. I have read many reviews written, written by skeptics saying they, that they ended up loving it. Don't let the bad reviews or even the movie or even the book itself stop you from seeing the movie. I was not disappointed at all with the finished project even though they cut out a few scenes that I loved. It is perfect just the way it is. I apologize for any grammatical mistakes. Unlike Miss Miss Steele, she I am not an English major. Okay. So I know this video is long, um and you're tired of me ranting and raving about this movie. But I do agree with her comment. Yes, they cut out scenes that I love. That I love in the book. I love the book. And yes, it's not portray any abusive relationships whatsoever. It just shows you that Anastasia made her, that Anastasia made her own choices. Made her, made her own made her own choices, made her own decisions, like an adult would. Um, she never did what she didn't want to do. Jamie didn't, uh, Christian didn't tell her what to do, didn't force her to, to do anything, just basically told her, here's the contract, read the contract carefully, and if you don't want, if you, and read it, and if you have any questions, free fill, free, feel free to, to email me or call me about whatever you're concerned with. And that's what she, exactly what she did. She sat down with him in his boardroom and said, this is what I need you to mark off because I'm not doing these. The anal fisting, the vaginal fisting, she didn't like. So yeah, he marked it off because he sees that she don't like those things because he sees in her eyes and she's like, mark those off. He marked those off because he knows in his mind that she's not going to like it. Well, she does, he does not know, but he, she basically told him, mark those things off. He did what she said. He marked those things off. See? That's what's n not, it's not abusive. He, he does what she doesn't want to do. If she doesn't want to do stuff, he doesn't force her to do anything. So you guys need to change your opinion about it being an abusive movie. It's not portraying anything abusive. But hey, that's just my opinion. My opinion is right, and I know it's right. I've seen the movie. I have proof that I've seen the movie, I have my eyes that I've seen my own movie, that I've seen the movie, I'm going to see the second movie, um, anyway, so, since it's a long video, and you guys are probably gone to sleep on me, or got, I'm um, getting tired, and probably gonna, uh, um, unsubscribe to me, which, it's, if you want to um, unsubscribe to me, that's fine. Do it. But, but hey, I'm giving my opinion. You have your opinion. I care about taking opinions. But hey, I try not to fight on it because it's your opinion. I'm 22 now. It's your opinion. My opinion are totally different. Um, so I'm just going to give you this here. If you guys seen... If you, if you Fifty Shades of Grey fans out there, or anyone has seen Fifty Shades of Grey last night, or tonight, oh, Thursday night, or Friday night, 
or else throughout Friday, comment below in the comment section saying if you watched it or not and your review and if you liked it or not and if you're go going to see the second one. And if you, s if you say that it's awful, I never want to see it again, I want to throw tomatoes at it, that's your, that's your call. That's your opinion. I'm not going to credit you on it. So I'm gonna t just going to leave you back on that. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. If you don't want to, um, if you want to unsub unsubscribe to me, that's fine. Um, but anyway, like it, subscribe to me if you want. Um, and just don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video. Um, and tell me in the comment section below if you like the movie, when, if you want to see it again, and your thoughts about this movie. Okay, bye guys.